Awesome. I'll just get everyone to oh, I'll mute everyone. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we have a few announcements to make before we jump into our um, speaker tonight, which is the lovely Ali. So I'm pretty excited about that to hear what she has to say. Um, so the first thing that we want to cover um, tonight is Punta Cana. So for anyone who's new, oh, and to welcome all the new team members as well. We've had quite a few um, recently join the ranks. And so I'm super excited about that to get to know everybody. Um, but yeah, one of the things that you may not know about yet is that there is actually a um, incentive trip that has been offered by head office. And um, essentially it means that you need to sign up 15 people um, it, before the 30, is it 30th, 31st of August, um, to be in the running to actually take this incentive trip, which is to Punta Cana, uh, which is in the Dominican Republic. Uh, so if you have 15 people that you sign up between now and then, um, you will, and actually they have to be on a subscription for three months as well. So we really have until the end of June, which is still actually quite doable. Um, if you sort of get your skates on, I know I'm still, you know, in that wind up phase for the for the year at the moment but it is definitely doable I've, I've crunched the numbers and we can totally do this still um yeah and so I don't actually know how many nights it is but it's all an all expenses paid trip to Punta Cana and if you happen to sign up 20 people you will actually be able to take a plus one with you um and then it, it continues to go on like that so um, it's an amazing trip. So just make sure that you're reaching out to whoever um, your upline is to learn more about that. If you haven't heard about this and it's something that's, you know, of interest to you, um, because I think it'll, yeah, it's going to be an amazing trip. And I'm really hoping that we have a lot of Aussies there to fly the flag for us. Um, I know corporate's very keen to meet all of us. So I think that would be pretty cool. Um, all right. Day of discovery is fast approaching. So it's actually, um, it starts on the 9th and goes through to the 15th of March, but we are having a number of events around Australia. So we've got one in Brisbane and that's going to be on the 12th of March, which is this Sunday coming. Um, and I think it's 9am till 3pm, but don't quote me on that. All of the details are in the um, Frequency Soul Collective QLA page and the invitation is in there as well. We've also having one in Melbourne. It will be similar timing. I think it's 10 or 10.30 that that one's starting and Amanda Addy is actually hosting that one. Um, and we'll be doing something with you guys on that for the uh, for the Melbourne crew. So we'll probably do a bit of a Zoom meetup on that day um, and have a bit of a chat about what's happening because there's going to be a lot of exciting things released, which will be super cool. Uh, and then Perth is also having one and that will be on the Saturday, I believe. So Saturday the 10th. Um, so if you're unsure about any of those, please reach out um, either in the Frequency Soul Collective chat or on the QLA page or to anyone you know in those areas because it's going to be a lot of fun. You also need to purchase your Day of Discovery ticket to attend that. So I don't think anyone's really charging for the events. I'm not really sure about Perth, but, um, but we do need to have those Day of Discovery tickets. And what I'm going to do quickly is just share with you how to purchase those in case anyone is unsure about that. Um, so if when you're logged in, uh, in your office, uh, your back office, which you should have the link for that, even if you're a newbie, you should have received that. It doesn't matter if you're a QLA or a, um, or a preferred customer, you will have this. And you can go to the orders section, um, place an order, and then my internet likes to play silly buggers with me. So let's see, <laughs> see if it lets me in. Ah, and there we go. So we've got day of discovery there. So you just click on that and it will go through and you can choose whatever account you want it to come out of and all the rest of it. Um, so yeah, make sure you get your ticket um, to be able to come along and attend that. It'll be amazing to get the groups together. They're also having a bit of a competition for the biggest group. So we're going to count, I think, the whole of Australia as one group. <laughs> we'll try and get away with that. Um, so we might have to Photoshop some pictures in, but um, that's why I think we'll do a Zoom link up too with the Melbourne crew um, so that we can get our numbers up there as well. So that's pretty cool and pretty exciting. All right. So um, we also have, 
um, training with Joe on this Wednesday night. Um, I believe that's 7 p.m. Queensland time as well. Now, this is specifically for any um, new QLAs or PCs or preferred customers. Um, now, we have, like I said earlier, have had a lot of um, new people coming in. So please encourage your team if you're not on the call, but if you're um, so encourage any of your newbies to come along to that. Joe will be hosting that and she's amazing. So um, yeah, get them along to that on Wednesday night. That would be amazing. All right. And I think that takes care of all of our announcements. Um, we have the beautiful Ali today coming with us and she um, is has lived in Australia for the last 11 years, but she's from Scotland originally and works in pathology. Um, and since moving to Australia, she's, well, probably before that actually, but she has a real passion for health and wellness and well-being, um, as well as mindset. And Ellie has been doing um, a program for the past 12 months um, called Magnetic Minds. And she's here tonight to share some of her um, information about this. And I'm super excited about this because I think we all know in this business that, you know, we're all about the frequency and how we create that frequency is um, by our mindset. Because if we're down in the dumps and, and Ali will be able to extend on this, I'm sure, but we know, right, if we're not, we're not vibrating at a great frequency and our mindset isn't where it needs to be, then people can't be attracted to us. And so, um, yeah, I'm super excited for this tonight. Ali, thank you so much um, for being here and offering this beautiful training for us tonight. I'm just unmute myself. Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm honestly, I'm so grateful to be here. When Rebecca sent me that message and said to me that she was going away to Hawaii on holiday and asked me to take training and to talk about my magnetic mind stuff, I was absolutely blown away. Um, she, I've been following magnetic mind for I reckon nearly eighteen months now, and the shifts and the a way it has helped me transform my life in the last 12 months has been unbelievable. So for the opportunity to share what I've learned with you guys today is just, you know, so close to my heart. So I know we've got quite a few Magnetic Mind certified coaches within um, Frequency Soul Collective. I'm not a certified coach. Um, so the chance to be actually be able to come and share my knowledge and what I've learned in the last 12 months is just amazing. So we're going to start with structure. And, you know, Chris Duncan came into my life. It was a YouTube channel. I seen a YouTube thing and I clicked on it and I'd done one of his five day challenges. And then I found myself signing up for his 12 month course. So it's called Magnetic Mind. It's literally reminding us of where we've came from that we are super conscious we are the most powerful creators in the world and we forgot we are not broken we are not broken and sometimes we think that we are incomplete or there's something in our aspects of our life where we're not flowing and it's just a script it is literally a script. It's like a video camera going over and over and over in our lives. And it's limiting beliefs that we have stored from a very, very young age. You know, and we try to solve these problems by ingesting information. You know, how much information we can get from here, from there. And all this is just information that our subconscious is taking in. And we are trying to make sense of that in our minds. You know, we go to school, we're educated on how the world works, we're educated on, you know, more information, and we literally take this information in and we store it in our unconscious mind. And from a really young age, we I think between the age of zero to four is we living in the super conscious mind. We have come into this existence and we don't know what the world is. You know, we've been conditioned from a really young age all the limiting beliefs that we have and it's just a script it is just a script that our unconscious mind has been running and running and running our whole lives and then this is the structure that we're in you know can anyone relate to that can you relate to that yeah so everything comes down to structure every aspect of our life comes down to structure 
are we living? And this is the problem solving orientation that we're living in. And we're all doing it in different aspects of our lives. You know, some parts of our lives are, are we feel stuck. We feel like we don't know how to move on. And then we've got other parts of our lives where we find the same thing over and over again. You know, it's called, so there's three different types of structures. So that's the stuck structure. And then you've got the oscillating structure. So the oscillating structure is where you think of the pros and cons in your life. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? You know, these are all the pros and cons that we think about when we're in an oscillating structure. So we think about aspects of our lives that we keep creating the same things over and over again, the same people, the same places, the same circumstances. And then we think to ourselves, why am I recreating this over and over again? And there's parts of our lives where this will resonate with you and parts of it that it doesn't. Um, but it's an oscillating structure and it's conditioning from society. It really is. And really from our family of origin. This is where this comes from. It comes from our family of origin. It comes from religion. It comes from government. It comes from all these things. And it's all information that we have stored. You know, and as we've as we've grew older, we've stored this stuff in our minds and we have we have developed emotional responses to this, to this stuff. So, and that's a really constrictive structure to be in. When you're trying to create something in your life and you've been trying to create this for such a long time, and then you find yourself back in the same place. Can anyone relate to that in aspects of their life? Yeah? Yeah. And then there's other parts of our lives that are just flowing. You know, we've got great relationships, great friendships great business some people are just thriving in different aspects of their life and then there's aspects of their life where they're just stuck they don't know what way to go next or they're oscillating they're literally carrying on and eventually they find themselves back so the idea of magnetic mind is getting into the creative orientation that is what chris duncan teaches from his point of view he's teaching you about creative structure how what do you want to create in your life you know he um I did make some notes because I'm not a coach and I've never done this before so I did write myself a couple of notes but you step into the creative orientation the creative orientation is open it is open it is alive it's complete we have everything within us that we need to create a life we love We've just forgotten. And we had to go through that process to come to to come into this life experience. You know, we were source energy and we've come down into this physical body for a life, for the joy of life and the joy of living. And the way to do that is to orientate yourself into these true choices that I'm going to talk to you about today. So this is what Chris Duncan, he talks about so many different things and I could talk all night about it, but all I'm going to, talk about today in our session is structure and then the four orientations that we use to move into the creative structure okay so and the way to access your creative structure is by consciously choosing consciously making that choice because every thought that we think is is a signal it is a it is a vibrational set point for our universal field or what is it abraham hicks calls it what does she call it a vortex of creation <laughs> how many of you follow abraham hicks hands up anyone yeah 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 so she calls it a vortex of creation and this is what we are creating so to get into the four core orientations really helps you step into that and create a life you love you know so when you think about orientation, what orientation have you set yourself in for today? You know, when you got up this morning, what was the first thing you did? Did you look at your phone? Did you go to the toilet, have your green drink? Like, what did you do? You know, you need to set your intentions for the day. So getting into these four orientations and Chris Duncan, this is the first thing he teaches you in the magnetic mind is these four orientations. And what he gets us to do is in the morning when we wake up, we literally step into these intentional orientations for the day. So the first one I'm going to tell you about today is I choose the end result of a life I love. 
we can all choose that we can all have a life we love you know and just feel that and breathe into that I choose the end result of a life I love what does that mean to you what's your perfect average day you know how does that feel and spend two minutes that's all all it is is two minutes of you opening up and really connecting to the unified field, bringing into your active awareness a life that you love. And feel that, really feel it. And then you go in and the next orientation that Chris Duncan talks about is a choose the end result of health and vitality. Now we can all choose that. You know, sometimes we have got pains and things going on in our bodies and it's really hard to focus and really, you know, step into that. But it's doable. And once you step into the life of health and vitality, you just feel better. And I really struggled with that one because I've always struggled with my weight. I've always struggled with eating. It's always been a struggle for me my whole life. So when Chris Duncan got me into that orientation of a life of health and vitality, I was like, whoa, hold on a minute here. So I brung into my practice what Bob Proctor taught me. Do any of you follow Bob Proctor before he sadly left our earth? And he always taught me that in his meditations, Bob Proctor does, he talks about a funnel from the top of your mind coming down and this pure, pure light coming down into your being. And feeling every cell in your body and it filling your every cell with this pure positive energy. And that's how I managed to get into that orientation. You know, for anyone that's struggling to get into these certain orientations, that's how I did it for myself. And, and it really makes a difference. It really makes a difference. And people in the magnetic mind community, they're doing this and they are healing parts of their bodies their cardiovascular stuff, you know, pain that's going on in their bodies. They are literally recoding their minds of how they're orientating in the day with one organ. And then he talk, goes on and he, the next orientation is, I choose the end result of, live, of um, my true, living my true nature and purpose. Now, what is your true nature and purpose? Have you just sit with that for a minute? Have you ever really thought why you're here? What your true nature and purpose is? I thought I, I knew what that was till I started orientating myself into that every morning and then realizing that <clears throat> my true nature and purpose is to serve, to help others. That's why I went into nursing, I guess. You know, but you have to find your true nature and purpose. Why are you here? Why do, what do you want to bring to the world? What gifts do you have to bring to the world? And when you realize that and you orientate into that every morning for two minutes, what you are setting your intentions for, who you are being today, who you're setting that intention to become, to be that day, what you bring in, it just sets that intention within your soul within your super conscious of who you are and where, what you're bringing to that day. And then the last orientation that he brings you into is I choose the end result of being the predominant creative force in my life. And what does that mean? What does that even mean? You are the predominant creative force in your life. You're not the only creative force because there's lots of us in this world and we're all connected, we're all one, and we all know this. We're all energy, we're all vibration, we're all frequencies. So by stepping into that, I am the most powerful creative force in my life is really setting that intention for no one to knock you off that disc today. You know, Abraham Hicks again, knocking you off your disc. You know, you got to get back on. So really orientating yourself into these four orientations every day really, really has been profound for me. You have no idea what this has done for my life. I have... I didn't have Solex in my life when I started doing this. I didn't have a lot of things in my life that I now have by doing this. And then when you sign up for the Magnetic Mind course, Chris Duncan actually gets you into these orientations. He teaches you to teach your thought patterns. And then he goes on and you can look at end results of what you actually want to create in your life. 
you know, I've always been of the mindset, don't ask God for too much because you've already got so much, you know, life's so fucking amazing. Like, don't ask for too much. Don't ask the universe. And then I got a coach in the UK. Her name was Nor Habit. If anyone's looking for a podcast, someone to listen to, Nor Habit, she's your gal. She's from Yorkshire. She's amazing. She's written a couple of books. Um, uh, what is it? Um, I can't think. I've got it written down. Just fucking do it. That's what it's called. Just fucking do it. And honestly, our book's amazing. It's all about self-development and, you know, gives you some tools and stuff. But that's took me off what I was thinking about. Just give me a minute. But it's really setting your intention for the day of what it is that you want to create. You know, and then what, what other notes? I think I've covered a lot of what I wanted to tell you. Is it's literally, you know, stepping into that creative orientation, you know, is really Abraham Hicks talks about thought patterns. That's how we manifest things into our lives. This is how we do it. We literally think a thought, that thought is a seed into that unified field. And the more you think that thought, and the more people and places and circumstances that you add into that and feel it and cultivate that, it has to be. The law of the universe, the law of attraction tells you it needs to be. So I hope this helps you. I really, really hope that you've took something from this tonight. I want to share with you a meditation that Chris Duncan has in our um, Magnetic Mind course, and it teaches you about getting stepping into these four orientations. So if anyone's interested in actually trying this and doing this in the morning, it's literally eight minutes in the morning before you listen to your harmonics and your tunes and, you know, setting your meditations and your green drinks or whatever you do in the morning. But our morning routine and setting ourselves up is what, what matters most. Because see if we're not showing up for ourselves and loving ourselves and actually being the person, showing up as the person that we want to be, nothing else is going to come into our lives. It's just not going to manifest because we have a limiting belief somewhere deep inside of us that stops us from having that. You know, and then the, you bring in the soul X, like Beck asked me to talk about magnetic mind, but oh my God, how does soul X fit in with this magnetic mind stuff? I was blown away. Like I had been living these four core orientations to the best of my ability for a couple of months, living my true nature and purpose to the best of my ability, trying to be this predominant creator that I wanted to be. And Chris Duncan said to me on a training session, he says, what do you really want to create? And I says, I want a business that I love, that I truly love, that is easy, that is lucrative and fun. And that was his words, an easy, lucrative, fun business. And I was like, I love that. And then I added to that and I added and I put with people in places all around the world. And I didn't have a lot of resistance to that. Like I thought, oh, I can use that as an end result. Like I can focus on that every morning for two minutes and look into that. And I started doing that. I literally started doing that. And boom, four months later, Solex landed in my lap. Like it was just here. And then when the inner voice scan came in and my friend done me an inner voice scan and I was like, Oh my God, now I can look at the structures that I'm in and the structures and the parts and the aspects of my life that I'm stuck or I don't know where to do, I don't know what to where to go or where to move next, what's the obvious action? And I thought, oh my God, I can use this. And it gives you the positive and the negatives. So you're able to look at a certain aspect of your life that you are stuck in or you keep attracting the same thing or something that you just brand new and you love brand new and you really want it you can look at your inner voice scan report and you can look at the positives and the negative and you can see what how where your dominant thoughts because at the end of the day what you think about matters more than what you realize what's your dominant thoughts been today a little exercise for you right if you want to participate in this like just sit and breathe and find that balance within yourself and when you find that, have a look at your life in the last 24 hours or 72 hours even. Let's do that. Let's go three days. 
And let's really look at where our dominant thoughts have been. Have they been in the past? Have they been in the future? Or have they been in the present moment? And don't lie to yourself. No one's asking any questions here. Where has your dominant thoughts been in, the, in these last three days? You know, and it's finding the awareness of that. So then you can consciously choose the more positive ones because that is what's going to serve you because a negative thought is wasted energy in the unified field in the law of attraction we need to be consciously thinking about what we're thinking about and if you don't want to do that just stop thought altogether abraham hicks says if you're in a mood someone's pissed you off and you can't move it you can't shift it and we've all been there Let's be honest, we've all been there when someone's done that to you and you cannot shift that energy. Abraham Hicks says, go to sleep. Because the minute you go to sleep, your vibration rises and balances. And then when you wake up, it picks off from where you left off. So what's your dominant thoughts when you wake up? Who am I going to be today? Who do I want to be today? What do I want to bring to the world today? Where's what gifts do I have to share today? What gifts am I going to see? Because there's hundreds of them everywhere we look. There is gifts, and we see them. We see them in license plates. We see them in, in butterflies. We see them in dragonflies. We see them in feathers. These are our gifts from the universe, from God, from Source Energy, from Buddha or Allah, whoever you subscribe to, your angels. That is guiding you. So we just need to step back, take a deep breath, and remember that everything is always working out for us, always working out for us. And it's just, I'm really grateful to have had this session with you guys. Am I running out of time? <laughs> no, that was perfect. That was really this, good. I haven't got the 10 minute warning yet. So do you know what? Safe. I was reading this book and I don't know if any of you have read it. And for all the newbies here, 100% recommend it. Solix recommends this book called Feelings Buried Alive Never Die. Mm. And I bought that book and I've read that book. And in that book, it says, the only seed you need is the seed you are right now. And I was like, what? Because every thought you think is a seed to the unified field. So if we can let go of all that bullshit and limiting beliefs, and like in the Magnetic Mind Certified, certified course, Chris Duncan talks about all these limiting beliefs that we have. And he's managed to narrow them down to the, mo to the six most common ones that we orientate from. And I'm, I think I did write some of them down. I didn't do PowerPoints and stuff like that, but maybe another time. Um, but some of the some of the things, the limiting beliefs that we orientate from from such a young age, and this is between the age of one and four, guys. Now just remember that this is a child that's made this up in our minds, and we are living by these limiting beliefs. Okay, so and there's a lot more than this, but these are the ones that I thought of today. I'm not worthy. I am not worthy. How many of us think that? I'm not capable. I'm not good enough. Who thinks that of themselves? I'm not perfect. I am not perfect. And that really bothers people if they're not perfect, you know? And it's a limiting belief for something that's happened to them when they were such a young child. Another one, I, I don't know enough. That's me. I never know enough. I never know enough. I'm insignificant. No one wants to listen to me. Doesn't matter. I'm just this tiny. And how many of us orientate to that? And another one that I could think of today when I was when I was thinking about this was, you know, I'm not good enough. Not enough. Never enough. Enough for who? Who are you not enough for? Because your source energy, you're God's highest form of creation. You really are. And the limits that you have in your are the limits you hold in your own mind. There's no, every, what we think about, we create. The essence of it, we create. And Abraham Hicks, again, she talks about if what we don't have, we're not ready for. 
what you don't have in your life that you're trying to manifest, you're not ready for vibrationally. So the way to cultivate that is by getting into these four core orientations first. Once you start orientating in these four core orientations every morning, eight minutes, guys, eight minutes, you'll notice a shift in your awareness, a shift in your day, a shift in how you feel. And then you can then look at true choices, like a true choice that's you, something that you want just because you would love to have it, not because it was going to put food on the table, not because it was going to put a roof over someone's head, not because it was going to make someone else feel better, because you would love to see it manifest. That is a true choice. And Chris Duncan takes you through that and he shows you how to decide what it is that you truly want and then you can add them true choices into your four core orientations in the mornings and you can really cultivate what it is that you want to attract and I have done it so many times so many times since doing this so I really hope you take a lot out of this I hope that you use the meditation try it for a couple of days see how it makes you feel um it's just been amazing absolutely amazing and then Solex is just such an amazing company like what we have in our hands is truly amazing we can literally change people's lives with this not just the healing and the emotional stuff but also the financial stuff as well and we know we say money isn't everything but money makes the world go around money gives us choices and life is about choice. It's about choosing. Choosing, setting the intention every day is what's going to set you apart from the rest of the world. So really set your intentions every day, you know? Make every day count. Every thought count. And when you can't do that, just stop it altogether. I would also say, Ali, maybe what we could do is when we can't stop those thoughts is the inner voice. Yes. <laughs> because yes. I was in a bit of a situation like that. Um, and actually, funnily enough, someone I've just introduced to the scanner um, had the similar thing on the same day. It was really funny. And she said she received those tunes and it just snapped her out of it and she's bought it. Like she literally just went, I need this, I need it. And she has now yeah. also introduced another two people in the last couple of days who've only oh, yeah. seen the inner voice, nothing else. And they're like, we need this. <laughs> See, if we, if this is the thing. Like every yeah. emotion that we have has a response. We mm. have an emotional response to a thought that we think or something that someone says. We have an emotional response to that, which then causes another response within the unified field. Mm -hmm. It's just the way it is we have to really bring our emotions into balance mm. and bring balance back into our bodies, we can reduce the chances of dis-ease in our bodies. Yeah, and that's huge. Nice. It's huge because all disease starts from an emotional response and we know that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just really profound and stepping into these orientations every day and if you've got a health thing going on, really step into that in this orientation, really find yourself, you know, cleaning up and doing what it is that you need to do to make your body, to heal your body, because you can heal your body from within with setting that intention and doing this mindset. It's been proven with this work. It's scientifically proven. Personally, I've not had an experience with that because touch wood and thank God I have a really healthy life. But there's people out there that don't that are living in pain and living in anxiety and living in stress. And we have the tools to help them. Beautiful. We have the tools, even yeah. just with, honestly, I'd be happy with this software just with the inner voice. Yeah. Just with the inner voice alone. Yeah. It's amazing. It's pretty amazing. And yeah, Solex is a pretty unique company. Um, I resisted it as well with the magnetic mind. You know, I was, I was resistant. I was resistant, I was resistant, I was resistant. And then, boom, my little girl got COVID and she wasn't vaccinated. And she was one of the first to get it. And I was like, oh my God. And I, honest to God, I prayed to God. I asked God for advice so many times whether I should get her vaccinated or not. And, I, and I, I, it wasn't to be, it wasn't to be. And then she was one of the first to get COVID. And I was like, oh my God. 
And then Kate scanned her. She was like, please let me scan her. Please let me send her some music. I says, right, Amy, give me this information. And she did. And honestly, two days and Amy was stuck in the room for seven days, like an absolute killer. But she was better and she was great. And I honestly thought of, they feared the life out of us, this government. They really scared the life out of me. I don't know about any of you, but yeah. I work in a local hospital and laboratory and we were, uh, they frightened the life out of me. So when that happened and then Kate scanned Amy, she gave her the inner voice. And then my little girl had been doing dancing for a decade, 10 years. She started getting this clicky hip. Hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars. No one could tell me exactly what was going on, how to fix this. And then Kate scanned her and she phoned me up and she was like, what's going on with Amy's hip? And then she said to me about all these ligaments and tendons and all this. And I was like, oh my fucking God, you've got my attention. You've got it. And that's when I had a look at what we have and what we're doing. And it's bloody exciting. And we are like so on fire with what we're bringing to the world, guys. So get them intentions. Where do you want your business to go? Yeah. What is your intention for this business? What do you want? And make it a true bloody choice. Don't make it a choice because you need to put food on the table or because you want that holiday. You make the bloody choice because it's something that you truly want to create just for the fun of it, because it will feel good. And you will notice a shift in your awareness. You really will. Amazing. All right. We've only got a minute left. So I just wanted to cover off. Thank you so much, Ali. This has been really, really awesome. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm wait to listen away. to that meditation. I think we should all put a comment in there when we've listened to it. I might pop it in the Frequency Soul Collective um, chat as well. Um, I think, Ange, you were asking about the um, link for Day of Discovery that will come to your email on the 9th, midnight their time, most likely. Okay. Um, so keep an eye out for that. So that's when it will be open for day of discovery. You'll also get a 20% discount. So um, make sure. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Thank you so much, Ali. That was amazing. I think we're going to get cut off in a second. So <laughs> Yay, thank, Bye, you. Everyone. Bye. thank you. Thank you, Ali, so much. Bye. Bye.